What up guys, it's your boy Shaka 3 from from Metals.com and here we go with a new video and today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the best settings to have uh, for Madden 24 that is going to help you elevate your game on defense and offense and it's going to help you win games because a lot of you guys don't win games because of the settings guys, the settings are wrong and because your settings are wrong, it throws you everywhere, okay, you cannot adjust on defense, it makes it slower, it makes it a bad experience, so I'm here to help you guys win, okay, here we go, favorite team, Whatever you want, bills, whatever, whatever you want here, doesn't matter. Even teams don't mess with this. Don't ever put even teams on. This is going to even out everybody's skill level or the overall of the team. So if a team is at 87, then both teams, when you guys play, your players' uh, uh, ratings or stats are going to be all over the place, but they're going to even out. Okay, so I've done games like this before in tournaments, and it sucks because you have to lap the differences of the team. You don't know who's who, who's gonna pick what. So your receiver might be 99 speed, then his quarterback might be 99 speed to match your receiver. It's crazy, yes. Okay, so I don't wanna confuse you, but don't go even teams. So NFL Live playbooks, uh, there's a lot of playbooks that you guys haven't discovered yet. If you're bored of the regular playbooks, you could always go and put this on. And the only thing is that it might not work in actual games. So you might be playing, thinking you're gonna play with this playbook and you go to the game and it didn't load up the live playbook. It sucks, all right? So I don't know about you guys. You could try this out, but uh, it's up to you. Man and skill level, put all man in competitive. I've seen people put simulation. So what the simulation does, guys, it actually makes it feel like the actual game or whatever, right? Like, so it uh, people get injured, penalties for holding, all that stuff that's annoying on the game that stops the progression of the game so the game is already long it's gonna make it longer so and it's annoying that your quarterback gets hurt stuff like that so don't mess with those i always put this right here four or five minutes it doesn't matter whatever your settings are preference uh here this is one thing right here that can lose your game when you, i hate receiving the reason i hate receiving is because i only i'm only allowed to do one mistake okay uh, but if I kick off, I could make two mistakes and still be good because I received second half. Okay, so this is right here is big. With win, kick with win. Okay, this one it's up to you guys. I like to put place, placement and accuracy, passing slow down off and no max distance because that's how I pass better. Okay, for me, I've tried classic and classic is just completely sucks for me but classic can be good for you if you're used to it i just like this better for me i feel like i pass a lot better so here we go um next one this is the secret right here guys look at all these on switches all right so auto flip different auto flip on uh, I'll, I'll leave it on all right i sometimes i don't use it it's up to you it doesn't do really much but flips your play every time to the strength of your the offense okay so you don't want uh, somebody running on the right side and it's, if it's off, then your strong side will be on the left and then he'll be running to the right and he's gonna hit you with a run. With this on, it automatically flips your defense to stop that run or to to match the strength of the offense, okay? Here we go, ball hawk. If some of you guys have it off, guys, go check because this is what helps you make get more interceptions. I see a lot of people asking, how come I cannot get picks? This is why, because it's off. Okay, so you're struggling to get picks. You have to manually do everything. This will help you activate the ball hawk and get you in there to get some interceptions. So this one is user control defenders are steered towards the ball carrier when att attempting to run or dive into them. Okay, so this right here is gonna help you, a guy suck into the running back, suck into the wide receiver so that uh, the guy doesn't just run around you. Okay, so put this on, okay, put this on. A lot of people complain that you guys want uh, people to click on while you're trying to make a tackle. With this on, you don't have to click on. The guy, if he has a good angle, the computer's harder to shake off, so don't click on, okay? It's very bummy to not use this tool, okay? It's very bummy when a lot of people tell me, oh, you click, how come you don't click on, you don't click on? Well, I don't click on because I don't have to, bro. It's smart, all right? So if you guys don't think like that, it's up to you guys. You want to play smarter or harder? This right here will definitely help you. The Heat Seeker Assist, sucking those defenders to make the tackle. So without you having to control them. Defensive Switch Assist. 
when a user switches players to another defender, it will put you in position to make the tackle, all right? It will not shake you off and get you out of the play. I think I played a couple games without it. You switch and the player just gets out of the way. This is the reason why. So the settings are not on. Make sure you guys switch the settings. Make sure you make them work. Uh, and the most important setting of all, I always wait for this one to the very end, is the visual feedback, okay? The visual feedback is very important. This is when you guys are trying to adjust and you misadjust and the camera goes all over the place. Have this off, camera toggle off, guys. It takes maybe 30 seconds to do this before the game and leave it like this for the rest of the year, okay? It's not that hard. Just people don't understand this, and why we do it. This is why when you press the button, okay, by accident, the camera, especially the D-pad, the, it's stupid to have the D-pad and the adjustments at the same same place, right? But the camera is gonna move all over the place. It's gonna think, oh, you want me to like, move the camera or you want me to move an adjustment? So those are it. This is the reason why, guys. So this is a complete explanation of why you guys want to win more games and play the Madden like it's supposed to be played. Change the settings. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Your boy Shocker3D4Minutes.com. Don't forget to comment and like, subscribe for more.